Alright, so we all know Zatanna's corner pressure is just butt freaking retarded, right? So, we got frame traps. You have to respect the standing three. I could sit here and I could get a little creative, delay something, go for that back one. We can go into this. We still get our double jump into pressure. Delay, you can get overhead low into low into a bunch of mids and a low. Then you can get into this, go back to the low if you want to. If you're feeling a little adventurous, do a little bit of trance, do a little bit of love, get down to night. But this time, we're going to go straight into the throw. They still in the corner. A lot of people decide to wake up. Wake ups are punishable. Lan Lantern's Might is punishable. And you know, a lot of those quick wake ups are punishable as long as you know what you're expecting. Come in there, you do more of this. You don't have to spend meter. You go in there, multi kick in the throw. Forward 2 1 in the throw. If you want to try and keep them honest, you can do little shenanigans such as this. Wait for it a little bit. Go back into this. Spent two bars of meter. Almost cleared out a whole health bar. Into throw. They can't clash that. They go for a wake up. Yada yada, etc. etc. Now remember, you also have to uh, realize you could do a double jump in two after your forward two one. So you can go into that and then you can go into whatever you want to cancel into at that point. So there's many overhead and many low situations that you can take advantage of. You can go for the crossover, bring them out here, to which you still can do the frame trap with standing three, knock them into the background. Well, I messed up there, but you can do a 2-1 into the reset after all that. Set up a fireball, set up projectiles. There's a lot of funky things this girl can do. The other thing that um I think is pretty interesting that I don't think I ever actually show in this video which would have been really awesome if I did, but... So I figured, all right, this was a match I had a while ago. I come back and I win it. Well, let's count the overheads and lows. There's a low. Boom, boom. What am I gonna go with? Another low, quick low. Now I dropped that, which is my bad. Messed up the forward two one, but you know, that it, it, people drop, it's online, stuff happens. You get over it. It's all about how you rebound. So I'm thinking, self, how you gonna rebound? This boy done bought you some flowers, then gave you a hug. What, what you gonna do? Go in there, forward two one, go back to basics. Gotta respect the frame trap of the standing three. Now, uh, it's pretty much getting the equalizer. He's coming out gate, choosing meter. Back three, two one, frame trap once again. He's not seeing it coming. Now, I could go for the overhead, which I do. He blocks. He doesn't block the cross up overhead. Goes into this, and he's got to use a white chip. Alright, and this little number, I'm playing Zatanna, obviously. Batman was over here bodying me, and I was wondering, Yo, Batman, you got that homeowner's insurance? I think you're about to pay a deductible in the second hit. But nah, 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 that wasn't the case. Case was, he had to pay that ass whooping insurance first. And he is paying the deductible as we speak, as you can clearly see. He didn't know where the highs or the lows were coming from. He was getting crossed up like Allen Iverson crossing up Kobe Bryant in his dreams. Because we all know Kobe Bryant, the one doing the cross ups. But that is irrelevant at this point. Because you go for the throw, you go for the huggy bear, put him in the corner, take a ball. That's right. Barely lost any health after the onslaught I was receiving from the Batman at the beginning. Now the Batman's worried. Batman's a little timid. Batman's a little scared. He respects the frame trap, but look out. Ooh, what's that? No meter, no problem. Oh, get out of the way of the back three that he was shooting at me. Oh, go for the low. He don't know where the lows or overheads are coming. Will I go low? Will I go low? Will I go low? Oh, the deductible being paid. Oh, oh, not the roof. Not the shingles and the tower. Oh, come on, man. And then you take the game. Now we see Zod rocking his Louis Vuitton shades, picked out from Victoria's Secret, I'm sure. But, see, you don't know where the overheads or the lows are coming from. These are all overheads. Where am I going? Nobody knows. But, you know, down two can stuff a lot of options, which is fine. Sometimes down two just be like that. But down one, down one throw, man. Down one throw. I love that. If, they can't, if you know they're going to go for a wager and they got a small amount of health, down one throw is your best bet. Now, I'm over here doing something I don't see a lot of people do, the forward three cross up on the knockdown. You know, you just go into standard corner stuff. You know, he's not expecting the overheads. That forward three is always a knob shot. Nice option because you can put armor on it if you're really feeling though, yo, spicy meatball needs to be zesty. 
Now, here's some good stiff competition. Y'all might know him as a man on Test Your Might forms, known as 187X, aka Gore's the Emissary of Darkness icon. But as you can see, you can make comebacks from just about any point in the game. He's got more meter, he's gonna get the health regen, it's late in the game. What is Zatanna gonna do? Well, I'll tell you what Zatanna's gonna do. Zatanna's gonna suck it up, go for the low, go for the frame trap, go for the down one. Go for the cross up, misses it, but goes for this. Down one's out of reach, can't do that. Low on health, he goes for the projectile, and that's what you don't do. You just don't go for the projectile, man. You can't do that. Zatanna eats projectiles for breakfast by not eating them or touching them in any way. At all. Now, the rest of this is uh, just gonna be me flailing around in practice mode, showing off some mid screen stuff I do with background interactables I think I messed this one up oh no wow I got that one that was nice but uh, as you can see you, you just take chunks and chunks and chunks of health off into setup after setup after setup and you can do that when you have the power of Zatanna on your side because if you believe in magic all things are possible now now this this isn't really anything that was just me trolling around but I mean if you're expecting a wake up and you're in trait mode you block the wake up, you come out of trait mode, and you get all your options of untraitivity, I guess, back. Which is always a nice thing. And you know, from full screen, you could do a lot of interesting things. I like how I said there's not going to be any commentary. And then I'm over here showcasing stupid stuff. And then I'm showcasing stuff that actually works. But you know, that's a different discussion for another day. So we're going to try more mid screen stuff. So. Lex Luthor gonna park himself right there. Thank you. We're gonna come in here with this. No double jump into. But as you can see, I want you guys to watch something right here. You see how that got me owned with his wake up. Okay. Well now I'll do two, two, three. Teleport behind. Now some people may be asking, you had to waste meter to do that? Not necessarily, because you can do the same thing off two, two, three go behind and they completely whiff they wake up which doesn't do anything good for you other than put them full screen if they're Lex and other characters can end up putting themselves full screen obviously but the thing is with armor you open yourself to a cross up and what I mean by that is simply this upon their waking up if they're just expecting a block that becomes a cross up so if they're just gonna sit there and turtle they're gonna get hit because it's an overhead and if they're just gonna sit there and be lame well you can mix it up it doesn't have to be a cross-up they'd have to guess either way which is fine and dandy by my standards so Zatanna's got a, a lot of stuff going on there not all of it good not all of it great my Zatanna I'm pretty sure is on that amateurist level but you know it's cool because now we got four two two one you go over here and you could do a back one or you can do back one three either one the choice is yours and yours alone but then you can teleport away and go back to your zoning options now that is only gonna work if someone is truly not expecting it now you go back to your zoning options and you peg them with a couple of these ring tosses or whatever you want to call it they will start jumping and I know some people don't know that you can curve it but when you curve it and hit them in the air on reaction you can go right into puppet stance and you know what that means, folks. You teleport in, you don't teleport out, you shake your mix-ups, and you shake them all about. The health bar does the hokey. All right, I'm not even going to pretend like I didn't stutter. I messed that up. Anyway, and uh, yeah, that's what it's all about.